a dream to celebrate. But that's what I learned. It, you don't win a Stanley Cup. You share it. And just like father. How long it's been, how long he's been sacrificing, grinding every day to try and get to this point to finally do it in front of our home crowd too. That was unbelievable. Just like son, the Maurice family can finally celebrate one of the most iconic trophies in all of sports. A moment they won't forget. Most importantly, it's for dad. He's the one who his name is going on the Stanley Cup, right? Sure, it'll have all of our last name there, but he's the one who's got his full, full name there and he earned it certainly. So I'm looking forward to seeing him having a lot of fun on Sunday. And all along the east coast of Florida, Go fans are celebrating and Jake is happy to see his father's team bring glory home. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I've seen all the celebrations around the city, right? Chucky at the Elbow Room, Raising Canes. They took it to a nightclub last night where there were bark off chants, right? So they're having fun with it the right way. I know a lot of our family is going to be coming down for the parade as well this week again, which is going to be a ton of fun. Can't wait to see all of them again. But Jake knows a thing or two about winning because back on June 8th, he saw his Florida Everblades take home the Kelly Cup. We can't forget about you because being the play-by-play -play announcer for the Everblades, you started the month of June off with the first cup for the Maurice family. He obviously worked a lot harder for his than I did for mine. Not that I didn't work hard, just it's very different me talking about the game and him actually being on the bench and guiding the guys to those victories, especially that game seven win. Hopefully more glory will be heading our way in South Florida for years to come. In Fort Lauderdale, I'm John Barron.